Um, my experience with getting treatment for my heroin addiction was not easy. Um, to begin with, you can't just call a rehab in the area and tell them you want treatment because there's no beds available. Um, my journey started at the emergency room. I actually had to go in there um, and I was put into a hospital for mental illness first uh, and waited in there for a week for a bed to open. Um, I ended up in Fort Washington, PA, and then moved over to Norristown was the closest bed they could get me to home, which is about two hours from here. Um, in the meantime, um, you know, I was approved for seven days up front of inpatient rehab. Uh, and after every seven days, I had to go back and beg my insurance company for more reason, for more, uh, for more time. I had to reason with them and negotiate with them and explain to them why I felt I needed more time. Uh, meanwhile, my parents were here at home in Elizabethtown calling around to all the Lancaster rehab facilities trying to see if there was a bed uh, closer to home so that I could have uh, family involved in my treatment as well as see my children more often. Uh, and it just wasn't, it wasn't an option. Uh, all female beds in the area were full. Um, I ended up getting approved for an additional seven days on top of the first seven, so that put me at 14 days. And then after those seven days, I was actually, I had my bags packed ready to come home because I was told I was out of time. Uh, it gave me a whole two weeks in rehab for a nine-year addiction. Um, and at the last minute, my counselor had come through and got me approved for an additional two weeks. Um, and that was only after I told them I did not feel safe to come home, which um, in and of itself was the truth because I didn't trust myself enough to come home, but it had nothing to do with my living situation. Um, uh, while I was there though, I had seen so many people that wanted more time and were only approved for the five day detox. Um, so yeah, five days just to detox off of a drug, you're not getting any of the skills that you need to actually recover and, and be successful in your recovery.